We are fighting to maintain possession, and that is a horrible shot by Newport County's player Evans. Take a look at this. Oh, he's falling down. He's twisted his ankle. What the hell was that? I mean, he's crying right there. Hopefully his mom isn't watching this. She's going to be embarrassed. Brad. What is happening? Good people of YouTube. Welcome to the Overly Gaming Project. Today is an exciting day and it is a monumentous day in the history of YouTube. It's like Christmas Day. It's like New Year's Day. It's like Thanksgiving or whatever your favorite holiday is. It could be like Valentine's Day. Although some people really don't want to think about Valentine's Day brings back some painful memories of being 12 years old, rejected by a crush you had in school. And even though you tried and gave her little love notes all the time, winked at her in the hallways, she still rejected you. But look, we don't have to talk about that because we are talking about the release of brand new FC 24, formerly known as FIFA. And this year EA Sports has come out with FC 24 and we are so excited. We're starting a brand new series here on the channel in FC 24, a youth academy career mode. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with this type of series, we're gonna take a League Two team, remove all of the real players and replace them with youth academy players and regens, which are those players generated by the game. And then we're gonna take that team of misfits and we are gonna try and take them to the top of English football and eventually win the Champions League. And I know what you're thinking. Why the hell would you do that? Just play with a normal team. But I'm telling you, this type of save creates lots of drama, lots of storylines. It's gonna be a crazy series. We're gonna have some heroes, some zeros, lots of fun things coming up. All right, and first things first, we have to create a manager and we have done that introducing for the first time in FC 24, Teddy Bailey, famed United States goalkeeper, moved across the pond to England, dipped his toe in the waters of coaching a few years back. Now he is a full citizen of England. He loves it over there. Loves those bangers and mash and a pint of Guinness. I mean, who doesn't? And he has settled in and now he has become one of the top young managers in English football, highly sought after, well, by League Two teams. I mean, let's not get crazy here. All right, the next thing we have to do is pick our League Two team, and this year we are going with Doncaster Rovers. This is a club with lots of history, established in 1879. They're based in Doncaster. I mean, go figure. Doncaster finished 18th last season. Subsequently, they sacked all of the managers and staff associated with the club and now they are committed to changing the team and the culture. They have hired Teddy Bailey, gonna change things from the ground up, including new managers, new staff, and a whole new squad of youth players. This is exciting, the board expectations, we got youth development is high. One of the reasons we picked this team, let's get into it, man. So exciting. All right, Doncaster playing in Eco Power Stadium. We renamed the stadium as best we can with the number of character slots FC24 has given us. We've colored the stands red, try and make it as close to Eco Power Stadium as possible. And without further ado, let's introduce Teddy Bailey to the world. New beginnings. Wow, exciting. This series is gonna be super cool. I can't wait to take you guys on the journey. And here he is, Teddy Bailey, coming out to the podium, waving to everybody. Look at that mullet and mustache. You wouldn't expect anything less. Holding up his jersey. Now this year, new in FC 24, we get to pick play styles, hire some additional staff. We're not going to do that right now. We are going to do that probably later on in this episode. All right, Teddy Bailey's excited to be at the club. Everybody's excited. And in this episode, we have a lot of exciting things to do. This is one of the most important episodes in the entire series. We need to build our foundation of youth players. 
We need to start season one. We're going to get through the preseason and play our first game in this episode. All right, first things first, checking out the objectives set forth by the board for Teddy Bailey. Looks like youth development. We got a high priority within two seasons. Signed four youth players to the senior team. Play them in 20 matches as part of the starting 11 or coming on as subs. We are definitely going to hit that objective. Brand exposure, a low priority. Get 20 games with at least one goal scored this season. Well, I mean, we are going to try. No promises can be made there. Medium priority is a financial goal within the same season. Sign one crucial player and make a profit of $5.4 million. We are definitely going to sign a crucial player. I'm sure one of these youth academy or regen will qualify as a crucial player. Not sure if we're going to make a profit. We're definitely going to make some money selling off the old players. I don't know if that counts towards this goal. We'll find out at the end of the season. Domestic success, a high priority. Something Teddy Bailey's got to tiptoe around. because I don't have expectations that we're going to blow the league out of the water and dominate, especially with the youth academy players that we're going to be bringing in. The goals here are to finish mid-table in EFL League 2. We certainly can give that a run. The FA Cup reached the round of 16 stage. I don't know if we can do that. Long term, within three seasons, we're going to gain automatic promotion. I really hope we do that. Otherwise, the series is not going to be very fun. And no objectives for continental success, thank God. All right, we got to start building our squad of youth academy players and regens. We got to get rid of all the players that are currently on the team. We need a starting 11 of all youth players and regens before we can start the season. Thankfully, FC24 again this year has given us a starting youth academy. Let's dive in, take a look at what we got. Right off the bat, we have two goalkeepers, which is a huge plus. Goalkeepers are crucial as a foundation of a youth series. We have got Damianos Papa from Greece. He's 16 years old, 49 overall rated, his potential 61 to 85. He's six foot six. But the one we're super excited about, Eduardo Arellana from Venezuela. Now I'm probably saying these names wrong. Leave it in the comments down below if I butcher any of these names. How the hell do you say them? I don't know. But that's what we're gonna do this whole series. We're just gonna butcher names and you're gonna have to deal with it. So Eduardo Arellana, 16 year old goalkeeper, six foot four, he's 53 overall rated. His potential though, that's what we're looking at. 71 to 94. This guy is going to be the cornerstone of this series. I have a good feeling about Eduardo Orellana. Moving down the list, center defensive midfielder, Freddie Greenwood. What a name. 46 overall rated. His potential 68 to 92, which is really good. He's six foot four. And he's from Australia. Good eye, mate. So far, we're getting a lot of tall players here in the Youth Academy, which Teddy Bailey likes a good tall player. And Freddie Greenwood, center defensive midfielder, a good position to have when you start a series like this. And speaking of center defensive midfielder, 16-year-old Serigny. Serigny. Serig. Serene. Look, I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to call him Serigny Sacco. <laughs> I'm, I know I'm butchering that. I know I am. Leave in the comments down below. Serigny. I don't know. But he's 46 overall rated. But look at that potential. 72 to 94. And he's 6 foot 6. Sacco from Cameroon. Center defensive midfielder. Awesome. And check out Dimitru Toma from Romania. 52 overall rated. Another great potential. 72 to 94. He is a center midfielder, and this guy looks to be good. FC24 has started us off with a nice pool of players here in the Youth Academy. We are going to sign every single one of these into the first team right away, and that is exciting. And speaking of the current squad, everybody that is a real player in this game is going to be transfer listed. I'm just going to go down the list here and add everybody to the transfer list. When the offers start coming in, I'm just going to take the first offer for each player just to get them out of here. And I really apologize. I mean, these players have worked hard to be where they're at, but uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. But you got to go. All right, once you've removed all of the real players and put them on the transfer list, 
we have to look at the free agents. We've got to bring in some players to start the season with. So I'm going to scout some free agents from ages 16 to 20. Let's see what's out there. All right, these are the regens that we're talking about. Michael Curry, six foot three center attacking midfielder. And for all of these regions that we find here in the free agents, we are going to scout them and put them in our transfer hub. Andre Alec, a right wing back. Go ahead and scout him. All right, anybody with no face has got to go. We're not going to use no face players in this series. Alan Marin, 17-year-old striker. Go ahead and scout him. Oh, Tete Mensa. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. 17-year-old striker. Let's go ahead and scout him. And Mike Smith. What a great name. Very generic. 17-year-old right back. Let's go ahead and scout him. All right, the last guy, Stylianos Verantis. He's a real player. <laughs> we don't want real players on this team. All right, so here's all the free agents that we're scouting. We got a center attacking midfielder, right wing back, two strikers, and a right back. Good mix of players there. Hopefully we come back with some good ratings and we can sign a couple of these guys into the squad to help us out. All right, next thing we got to do is pick some scouts, and we have done that. Teddy Bailey has come in to Doncaster Rovers, and he's making some waves. He's spending some money, and you can see that right here in the scouts. He's picked up Aaron Kukuchik. I don't even know how to say that. But it's Aaron Cuckoo. It's Aaron Cuckoo from Turkey. He's a four-star, four-star scout. And normally in a youth academy series, when we start in EFL League 2, we don't have a scout this good. But this year, we're doing something a little bit different. We're spending that transfer budget, and we're going out and getting a really good scout. We've got Radomir Maximov, a three-star, three-star scout from Russia. And then we got our home talent scout, Marcus Lister. Not very good. He's one star, one star. But you know what? We got to keep him around, at least for this season. And the rule here that we generate is every season that passes, we can upgrade a scout. And definitely Marcus Lister, he's out of here at the end of this year. And we can upgrade to a better scout for next year. All right, we got to set up our scouts. And of course, the best scout is always going to stay in England going to search for any type of player because we want that homegrown talent to come into the squad. So the best scout staying in England for three months searching for any player. All right, Radimir Maximov, our second best scout. We're going to try and keep him close to home here in the beginning of the series. So we're going to send Maximov to Wales and we are going to start looking for physically strong players. We need to start building a good solid defense on the squad. So he's going to scout three months in Wales for physically strong players. Some nice strong Welsh men to help solidify our defense. All right, and Marcus Lister, he's the worst scout of the bunch, a one star, one star scout. We are going to send him to Australia. This is an homage to Sparring DK. If you're not familiar with this type of series, go check out Sparring DK's channel. Also check out Cutsy's channel. I'm going to link those in the description below. Cutsy, the godfather of the Youth Academy series, Sparring DK, right behind him. I mean, these two are my inspiration for doing this type of series. I really enjoy watching their channels, and you will too. Go check them out. Links are in the description below. So Marcus Lister, three months in Australia, you're going to look for some big Aussies to help fill out this team. All right, we're advancing through the weeks already. We're getting transfer offers for our players, and it doesn't matter what the offer is, except if it's an exchange with another player. We are going to accept the first offers that come in for these guys, and let's get them the hell out of here. All right, we got to pick a preseason tournament. Normally, we want the one that's got the most amount of money. But here, we're going to take the European Shield. $600,000 total potential prize money. It's a three-star difficulty. So that's what we're going to go with. All right, we've already got a scouting report back on one of the free agents, Alan Marin. He's 59 overall rated, 17 years old from Romania. He is a striker at 5'11". His stats aren't too bad. Now, we don't have a striker in the current youth academy. I feel like we should just sign as many of these players as we can. Better to have too much to pick from than not enough. So Alan Marin, we can approach him. We got to pay him between 650 and 950 to convince him to join the club. We're going to go ahead and delegate that. Hopefully, he'll accept our offer. Oh no, 
got our first player leaving. It's always such a sad thing, Teddy Bailey walking him to the door like they're walking him to the gates of hell. Oh, God. Uh, well, it's been nice having you at the club. See you around. Good luck in your future. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Oh, oh, boy, that guy sucked. Glad to get rid of him. All right, let's go back and eat some pizza. Ben Close is gone, $650,000. And take a look here, we got an A rating for that one. It's an excellent deal. Teddy Bailey starting off on the right foot. All right, the rest of the free agent scouting reports are back. Looks like we have Michael Curry, a cam, 56 overall rated, he's six foot three. You can see his play style is a jockey. Whatever the hell that means. Andre Elek, right wing back from Hungary. He's five foot eight, 54 overall rated. We got Tete Mensa from Ghana. He's a striker, 63 overall rated. That is really good. And then we got Mike Smith, Mr. Fancy Name, as a right back, five foot seven. So he's more of an undersized right back, but he's 60 overall rated. Has a 59 defending rating. You can tell the stats aren't great, but they're not bad either. So we're going to offer all of these guys contracts to come into the squad. All right, here's Teddy Bailey at work trying to sign Tete Menza, the 63 rated striker. Let's see if we can get a good deal done. All right, what's the squad role going to be? I mean, crucial. He's 63 rated. Definitely, we're going to accept that. But we always want to start out with a counter offer just to see how these negotiations are going to go. We're going to say he's going to be important, but not crucial. Let's see if they'll bite. All right, well, it doesn't work. They want him crucial, so we'll accept it. Oh boy, he's not looking very happy right here. All right, he wants a five-year contract. We're going to accept that. All right, we don't want a release clause in here. We hate release clauses. All right, he's looking for 900 a week. Expecting a signing bonus of 8,600 bucks. Well, we got the money. Let's go ahead and counter. We're gonna remove the bonus here. We're actually gonna offer him $1,100 per week because we are gonna move that signing bonus down. We're gonna offer him a signing bonus of $69. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, here we go, $1,100 a week. He's keen to join the club. We get the deal done. Wow, Tete Mensa, the 63 rated striker. Welcome to the squad. All right, it looks like all of the free agents have agreed to join the squad, which is awesome. So Alan Marin, Michael Curry, Andre Alec, Mike Smith, welcome to the squad. Yeah, so I told him I always get the last piece of pizza and he took it anyway. Oh, hang on. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Good to meet you. Welcome to the club. Let's go in and meet everybody. Oh, hey, how are you, buddy? Nice to meet you. Sorry I can't stick around. I gotta order more pizzas. See you later. All right, bye. All right, this guy can ride a bike. Pretty impressive. There is Elick looking good in his jersey. Oh, my God. How long do I have to stand here and take this picture? I'm really hungry. All right, the first preseason match, Doncaster loses to Almir City 2-1. to one. And here's our second preseason match. Livingston and Doncaster draw 1-1. All right, the last preseason match that we have. Doncaster gets their asses whooped 5-1. Wow. Maybe a foreshadowing of things to come here early on in this youth series. All right, taking a look at the calendar, it looks like the first home match here in FC 24 it's going to happen on the 29th of July. I'm not sure why they did that. Because our first scouting report doesn't come back until August the 1st. So we are going to have to sim past the home opener for Doncaster Rovers so that we can get our first scouting report back and come up with a full squad. And that is disappointing. But we got to roll with the punches here. That's what we do in the Youth Squad Series. All right, well, here it is, the first home match of the season. Doncaster Rovers don't have a full squad of youth players and regions, so we're simming the game. Looks like we are going to go down 2-1 to one to the Tranmere Rovers. It was Rovers on Rovers. We did start as many of our youth players as possible, and judging by the ratings, it didn't do too well. All right, then, let's move along. All right, it's the first scouting report back of the series. And wouldn't you know it, Marcus Lister, back from Australia, brings us Elliot Holden, who is nothing special, I gotta say. But that's all right. Every single player that's brought back, we're gonna bring them into the squad because we need that depth. We need a starting 11, so... 
Let's put them all in the Youth Academy and see what we're working with. Radimir Maximoff, back from Wales, brought us four candidates for the squad. We're going to go ahead and put all of these guys into the Youth Academy and take a closer look. And Aaron Cuckoo, back from England, has brought us four candidates as well. We're going to put them in the Youth Academy and take a closer look. All right, here is our Youth Academy generated from the first squad reports that we got back in the series. It's always an exciting time here. And right off the bat, there are a couple of duds that we have got in return. Matthew Murphy, a 33 overall rated player. Wow, we. Oh, bye bye. And Ethan Adams, 29 overall rated player. I'm sorry. I don't care if we need depth, but we are not bringing him into the squad. Oh, bye bye. All right, that's going to leave us with about seven players. Alfie Vaughn, 50 overall rated, his potential 56 to 74 from England. He's only 15 years old, so we can't bring him into the squad. But we have Lloyd Roberts from Wales. He's 46 overall. He's a right back, 71 to 94, so really good potential here. And he's got some traits, pinged pass and jockey. Wow, another jockey. wonder if we should start a horse racing team. <laughs> All right, Lloyd Roberts, welcome to the squad. All right, and Michael Davies from Wales, 50 overall rated, 51 to 71 potential, so not going to be one of the superstars that makes it through the entire series, but we can use him as a fill-in when needed. Always good to have a strong, tall body in the middle of the pitch. So Michael Davies, welcome to the squad. And here is Leo Davies, perhaps the long-lost brother of the previous Davies. He is 52 overall rated, a right midfielder, potential 69 to 94, which is really good. So Leo Davies, welcome to the squad. And Elliot Holden, right winger, wow, 48 overall rated, potential 50 to 68. Oh, at 16 years old, pretty close to reaching his potential as a footballer. <laughs> that is really sad. But nonetheless, Elliot Holden, welcome to the squad. And here is Tony Morgan, another right winger, 65 to 87 potential. He's 51 overall rated right now at 16 years old. He's left footed but he's a right winger, so we might have to change that around a little bit. We'll see as we progress through the next couple of matches. But Tony Morgan, welcome to the squad. All right, here's Riley Alexander, the last player in the Youth Academy that we can bring in. He's 45 overall rated, 16-year-old striker from England, potential 58 to 80, so definitely going to serve as a good backup for us. I mean, he looks like he's 16 with a big old beard. I mean, come on, FC24, what are you doing here? All right, Riley Alexander, welcome to the squad. All right, let's take a look at the team strategy before we head into our first match. We have got standard, which is a very balanced approach. We've got wing play where we get it out to the wings. We've got Tiki Taka, which is a possession approach. Jijen pressing? I don't even know how to say that. I don't know what that is. It's a high press. And then park the bus. Nobody likes park the bus, so we're not going to do that one. And a counter-attack. It's a low risk and low block. This is where players defend the penalty area, and then once they get possession, they zoom forward, try and score real quick. Kick and rush, built around strength and athleticism, which we certainly don't have right now. So honestly, I think for right now, to begin the series, we're going to start with a standard tactical vision. If you guys have something different that you want to experiment with, given this squad, leave it in the comments down below. My theory is in the beginning, we're just going to keep it simple. All right, we have the opportunity to bring in some coaches, and we do have some money because we sold a whole lot of players here, but we don't want to go blowing our whole budget. All right, we've brought in Julian Peterson, three-star coach in the attacking level, so we're going to put Julian in there. All right, we are going to put some money into defense. Rory Lane is a five-star defense and five-star goalkeeping coach. We will hire Rory Lane as our defensive coach. All right, Isaac Weber, a two-star goalkeeping coach. We are going to hire Isaac Weber as our goalkeeping coach. Only two stars here, but that's what we get in League Two. And for the midfield... We have brought in Riley Reed as our head coach. Three stars there, cost us about $3,000 a week. So we've got some coaches here, really not that sure. This is a new feature in FC24. Not sure what this does in relation to how good the team's going to be, especially since we're using a bunch of youth misfits. 
But we will see as the series goes on. And again, leave it in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on this new feature? All right, another feature here is the training plan. FC24 has put this in a little bit different than years past. You can pick individual players and adjust their training plans. I'm really not going to get a whole lot into this right now at the beginning of the series. Again, let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on this, any tips or tricks and how you set up your training. I'm just going to leave everything on balance for right now, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, it is match day, Newport versus Doncaster, the first real match of this series, and boy, are we excited. Let's take a look at the lineup and see which youth players are starting. Starting up top in the striker role, it is Mensa, the free agent that we brought in, 63 overall rated. Out on the left wing, it is Morgan, brought him in from Wales, 51 overall. On the left wing side, it is Morgan, brought him in from Wales, 51 overall rated. On the right side is our right winger. It's gonna be Davies. Now he's listed as a right midfielder. Gets a plus three for being in that winger role. 52 overall rated. In the middle, Greenwood, our center defensive midfielder that came from the original Youth Academy. He gets a plus six rating for being a center midfielder instead of a center defensive midfielder. And that is really good because he is six foot four, a big unit there in the center of the field. To his right, it is Toma, again from the original Youth Academy from Romania. High potential. He gets a plus one for being there in the center of the field. And center defensive midfielder Sacco. He is from Cameroon. Came in in the original Youth Academy. High potential. He's six foot six. Let's see how he does in the center defensive midfielder role. And the back line on the left side, it is Smith, one of the free agents that we brought in. In the middle, center back Roberts from Wales. He's a 46 overall rated, but he gets a plus four for playing as a center back and as our right center back it is the center defensive midfielder Davies now we brought him in from Wales he's a 50 overall rated player but he gets a plus three moving back into the back line and out on the right side it's Elick he's a right wing back 54 overall rated one of the free agents that we brought in and in between the sticks it is Aurelana from Venezuela the big unit, six foot four keeper, 53 overall rated. He is gonna be good. Hopefully he is gonna be good for us back there, diving around, saving balls, doing all that stuff goalkeepers do. So without further ado, let's get into today's match. All right, taking a look at the pre-match report, Newport County playing a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. They're currently sitting in 12th place on the table. And it looks like they're using the standard tactical vision as well. All right, here we go. It's the first match of the series. And we are out on the pitch. Newport County kicking off. Here we go. FC 24 Youth Series underway. Let's go, boys. All right, now Greenwood. He's going to pass up to Morgan. Morgan turns, burns his man. He's coming into the middle of the field. Is he going to have anybody to help him? He's going to cross the ball in. Who's there? Oh, look out. Looks like Davies couldn't get ahead on it. Now Sacco back to Elick. Elick's going to try and go around the corner, and he does. He beats his man coming to the side. He's going to cross it in. What a horrible cross. Toma can't get on it. And Newport is able to clear. Oh, my goodness. Now Greenwood, middle of the field. Look at how exciting this series is already. We got Morgan coming into the box. Here he is again. He's going to pass it in the middle. What a horrible pass. Oh my God, Morgan should be ashamed of himself. And that's what you're gonna get here in the Youth Academy series right off the bat. These boys, they are rough around the edges to say the least. Oh, there's Sacco. Good possession, there's Morgan again. Turns and beats this man. Who is this Morgan kid? He is coming down to the side of the field. He's gonna cross it in the box. Oh, and it's Toma with the first goal of the season. Falls into the back of the net. What a strike. Toma strikes first blood and he's dancing around the big Romanian. Wow. Take another look at this. Here is Roberts coming down the side of the field. He's crossing it. What a cross. The goalkeeper's got his back turned. Newport County's gotta fire that guy. And there is Toma right in the middle. He's going to kick it past the keeper who wasn't even looking. And that keeper dramatically falls down. 
Oh my God, that is absolutely awful, awful from Newport County. And we are gonna go ahead here. It's Dimitri Toma, first goal of his career, first goal of the season. Let's go. All right, here we go. One to nil here. These boys are starting off the season strong and that is not usual here in the Youth Academy. Look at Newport County turning the ball over again. Wow. Oh my God, Newport County once again turned the ball over. This team is awful. I mean, it's like if you took a bunch of three-year-olds and put them out on the pitch, that's what they look like. Oh, here we go in the middle of the field. It's Toma again. He's going to stop. He's going to play the ball in. It's Greenwood. Greenwood steps up. He chips a ball into the box. Oh, easy save for Newport's keeper. Now Newport County, middle of the field, trying to do something with it. Of here. Doncaster trying to put on some pressure. Oh, and there's a great defensive play by Doncaster. Newport gets the ball back. We are fighting to maintain possession, and that is a horrible shot by Newport County's player, Evans. Take a look at this. Oh, what a, oh, he's falling down. He's twisted his ankle. What the hell was that? I mean, he's crying right there. Hopefully his mom isn't watching this. She's going to be embarrassed. All right, Sacco in the middle. He's going to play it. It's Greenwood. Greenwood's going to lay it off. It's Mensa. Mensa's got some pressure, but he's going to lay it off to Greenwood. In the box, takes a shot. It's saved. Bounces over the goal. There's Newport's keeper, obviously frustrated with the defense. All right, first corner of the season. The ball's played in. Can we get up? Newport County able to clear. Morgan keeps possession. What's he going to do? He's going to stop. He's turning around. Oh, it's Davies steps up. Oh, look out. And there's Mensa. Oh, Mensa with the cleanup. It bounces off the sidebar. Oh, unlucky. What a play. Doncaster keeping up the pressure here. We want another goal. Now Newport trying to get strong in the middle. Playing a ball through. And look out. Wow, Orlana comes out and makes a great save. Oh my God, Newport County gets possession into the box. It's a shot, or Alana with an easy save. And man, this is coming to the end of the first half in stoppage time, and we are under some pressure here. And there it is, there's the whistle. Wow, first half ends in some drama. We got some pressure. There's our fans, they're clapping lightly. There's Dimitri Toma, one goal so far in this match. Hopefully he can have some more. Doncaster goes into the half one to nil. All right, second half kicking off here. Doncaster up one to nil in the changing room. Teddy Bailey talked to the team, gave him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a Red Bull. And these boys are ready to get back at it and get another goal. Let's go, boys. Tom's going to turn around. Mensa, he's going to play it back to Greenwood. Greenwood takes a shot on the outside. Morgan turns and beats his man again. This guy, Morgan, having a great game. He's still got possession. He's getting double teamed. Going to pass it back to Smith. Smith in the middle. It's Mensa who gets knocked down. The ball taken away from him. Oh, Newport County playing the ball out wide. Oh, what a horrible pass again. Newport County, story of the day. Just passing the ball right to Doncaster the whole day. Oh, now Newport County midfield. Trying to do something with it. Going to play it out wide. Oh, look out. Defender gets beat on the side. They're going to play it into the box. And look out. Oh, it saved Orlana. Newport County again, what a shot. Oh, Orlana again knocks it over the goal. Oh, take a look. Oh, he got hit right in his Franks and Beans. And I don't know what that is. Are they calling that offsides? Are they calling that offsides? Oh, my God. Wow, Orlana gets smacked in the Franks and Beans. Got some substitutions coming in for Newport County, and nobody cares. Oh, another bad pass by Newport. Now Mensa. Now Morgan. Morgan plays it back to Mensa. Mensa lays it off. It's Davies. Can Davies keep possession for once? He does. Heavy touch. Comes towards the line. He's going to cross it in. What a horrible cross. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, Sacco with some defense there. He's going to lay it off to Morgan. Morgan uses his speed. Comes down the side. He's going to cross it in. Nobody there. Oh, holy crap. All right, Newport County now with possession. Side of the field. They're going to play it forward. Now they're going to play it back. Top of the box. It's chipped in. Oh, Orlana 
tries to make a save, it goes off the sidebar. Wow. Unlucky for Newport County as that ball hit the sidebar. Oh, what a great play by Sacco. Another great defensive play there. Oh, my God, and a horrible pass by Greenwood. Greenwood is going to be embarrassed. I mean, he's got to do better than that. Newport County, middle of the field, another bad pass. They're going to retain possession. Oh, look out, ball goes through. Orlana comes out and makes a great save. Orlana, wow. All right, substitution's coming in for Doncaster. We got some fresh legs coming up front. Here's a corner kick played in. There's Morgan, he's going to get possession. Now he's going to play right back to Newport County. Wow, that is awful. There's a shot, it's deflected. Newport County trying again, coming to the side of the box. Fancy footwork. It's going to be played right in the middle. Sweep the leg. Doncaster able to clear and look out. Oh my God, that's got to be a card. Here comes the ref. What's he going to do? It's a red card for Newport County. Wow. What a dirty, dirty player. Will Evans gets a red card in the 88th minute. Take another look at this right from behind. Oh my God. Takes out Doncaster's player. Not sure who that was. Substitution coming in for Newport County. That was absolutely awful. That player is just dirty, dirty. As dirty as you can get. Here we go. It's Toma coming through the middle again. He's out of stamina. Oh, it's deflected. Easy save for the keeper. And there it is. The whistle blows. And that is the end of the match. Doncaster Rovers coming out victorious. Here's Teddy Bailey. Hey, sorry we had to beat your ass so bad. And here we go. Players celebrating the first victory. Hopefully the first of many to come in this series. Wow. Dimitru Toma, welcome to the Youth Academy Series. Is this a superstar to be born? Who knows? One to nil here. Doncaster coming away victorious. What a match. What a great group of young players Teddy Bailey's put on the pitch. All right, let's take a look at the match ratings as you could imagine Orlana getting man of the match had some incredible saves in between the sticks a 7.7 .7 rating Toma with his first goal of his career here first goal of the series 7.6 .6 rating Sacco did a great job holding it down center defensive midfielder we got Morgan who did a great job on that left side perhaps he's going to be a superstar to come Leave it in the comments down below. Is Orellana your man of the match? Or who is your man of the match? I don't know. That's why you should leave it in the comments down below. Well, there it is. The first episode of the youth series. We have got a good starting rotation here of youth players. Still going to get rid of the players that were currently on the squad. Taking a look at the rest of the month. Caribou Cup match coming up midweek. That's always a problem for stamina. But we're going to put some subs in there. We don't really care about the Caribou Cup. We care about these matches. And it looks like we've got four more league matches to go for this month. And in the next episode, we're going to try and knock out as many of these matches as we can. And we're going to work our way towards the next scouting report, which is coming on the 1st of September. So stick around. Don't forget, ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the Overly Gaming Project? If the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified of all the content coming out. And leave a like on the video. Even if you didn't like the video, you got to hit the like button. It's part of the YouTube rules. And don't forget, leave your comments down below. It doesn't even matter what you say. But most importantly, thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day. And we will see you right back here in the next video.